We understand that you waited to release the film until the people of India could have unobstructed access via, um, you know, direct. DTH. Via, mm -hmm. The uh, direct home. Direct yes, it's, it's an idea which came to me. That's why we uh, also enhanced the theater experience multifold by bringing Aura 3D. The sound effect was so good that you will never get it watching it on a television screen. So on one side, I wanted to keep the ecosystem of the industry intact, not just rush into some new technology which I think is good for money. And, but I think uh, it's also been um, proven right in Hollywood, like arbitrage has uh, gone, uh, has grasped more through VOD, video on demand, than the theatrical. But that doesn't mean that the theatricals have gone down. It's only that there's another venue we have discovered to monetize our film. It's like how we had only few theaters and we built many theaters, many screens, and multiplied them. I mean, met with the demand. Your supplies met with the demand. And that's what I was uh, trying to do with DTH. It was a little bit of scuttling, but South of India has understood the vision, and they're staying with me. The North is yet to fully understand. Are you finding theaters in the States that are able to accommodate that special sound? Uh, not uh, America has about 25 to 30 theaters, if I know right. I might be wrong. But Tamil Nadu, one state, one state in the whole of the country has 25 theaters now. They'll have 30 by next year. And um, the sound is incredible. When you hear it, uh, you'll understand why I'm promoting it. I mean, um, when when I started, there were only two other directors, but good enough um, predecessors to have. Uh, that was um, uh, Mr. Lucas and Mr. Spielberg. They were working on the sound when I decided I was the third to go on Aura 3D.